Hello everyone, my name is Kenya Lopez. I am one of the USC College Advisors, and today I will be walking you through the process of navigating your CSUN portal. So first things first, let's go ahead and go to csun.edu. Once you are here, you will see my Northridge portal on the left. The little box doesn't come up right away all the time, so just click on the link and it should come up. Once you enter your user ID and password, you will be directed to the applicant tab or the Northridge portal. So the really nice thing about the CSUN portal is that although you do have access to all of the different tabs that a current student has access to, um, all of the information that you will need as a freshman applicant will be right here on this first tab. So by all means, do go ahead and check out the other tabs and find all of the information that they have to relay. Um, however, if you are feeling overwhelmed, just know that at least all of the important stuff to you is going to be on this applicant tab. So let's go ahead and kind of navigate to this through this together. So first things first, right? This middle section right here is going to be your best friend and that's where you're going to find any outstanding uh, task or charges that you need to complete. So right now you all will probably not have anything because you don't have to pay anything to the university yet, but as time gets closer and then it's time to enroll for your classes, you will start to see fees for tuition and perhaps housing and meal plan if you are deciding to live on campus. But for now, this right here, you can ignore it. Registration, exciting stuff. Um, so they have already given you a date and time um, for you to register for classes. And they will also always tell you right there, what's the max amount of units that you can register for. And then they will tell you that before you register for any classes, you have to complete any incompleted tasks below. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. All right, so incomplete task right here. Um, this particular student that I'm using um, was not selected for financial aid verification. However, really important to know that if you were selected for verification for financial aid, your incomplete task will be right here. So make sure that you are taking a look at those because the moment that you, the longer you take to complete these tasks, the longer that they're going to take to give you your financial aid. So if you have anything else besides these two tasks here, make sure that you take care of, take care of them. We also have other videos on how to complete uh, financial aid verification and all of that information if you do see any of those um, listed on here. All freshmen are going to have these two options right here, these two tasks right here. The first one is going to be advice and requirement for first time freshmen. So before you register for your classes, you're going to have to meet with an advisor for you to go over your um, academic plan, which classes you're registering for the fall, um, as well as start to create an academic plan for you to graduate in the amount of years that you wish to graduate in. So I will give you all more information a little further on how to complete that. And then the second task that all freshmen are going to have is going to be this Title IX training called Not Anymore. Basically, this is a way for CSUN to give you information on how to prevent uh, sexual assault and other things on campus. Um, basically, so you are informed. The training, however, is going to take about an hour. So I recommend that unless you are committing to Cal State Northridge, um, go ahead and wait on it um, just so you save some time. It's not required for you to do it um, before you do your intent to register. Moving on. Um, you will all see something similar to this as well. So this particular student took some college classes uh, in high school. So she is required to uh, send in her a Camino College transcript. Some of you may not have that, but you will have this. Um, basically, at whatever university you end up going to, you are going to have to send them an official transcript uh, indicating that you have graduated high school and the date. Um, so for now, I know the deadline right here, it says July 15. However, given the circumstances, um, these things are changing every day. Uh, it seems as if the CSU is actually going to be accepting um, unofficial transcripts in the time being. However, all these developments are, developments are still happening day to day. So stay uh, in touch with your college advisors and counselors so they can let you know how they're going to go about sending your transcript to whatever university you decide to go to. Complete a task. So <clears throat> once you have finished different things that they requested from you, you will see them on here. So the student already sent in their, their SAT. 
Uh, for majority of students, you don't even have to do anything for them to receive immunizations, but if you are required to, you will receive an email letting you know that you have to go ahead and enter that information on your portal, and they will also give you instructions on how to do that. All righty, let's go ahead and move on to status. Make sure that um, your status does say that you're going to be a freshman and that the major that you're applying with is the major that you do wish to keep and if it's not it's something that you should discuss with your um, advisor as soon as you make that uh, first time freshman advising appointment two really important things right here that you're going to see is going to be your financial aid we do have other videos on how to read your financial aid award letters but if you are trying to find your financial aid for CSUN, you're gonna find it right here, right away. Once you click on view my awards, it's gonna take you to this page right here. I zoomed in a little bit just so I can hide my student's uh, name and student ID, but you will go ahead and go right here and click on 2021. And it will give you um, all of your financial aid information. This looks just about the same across all Cal States. Um, the top will basically break down how much money they're giving you for the entire year and then the bottom two uh, graphs are just basically going to be how much they're giving you for each semester. Um, so you're basically just cutting it in half. Alrighty, once we go back to the CSUN portal, you're going to see this option right here, which is a super exciting part, um, how to do your intent to register. So once you decide that you are going to go to CSUN or if you de decide that you're not going to go to CSUN, you should let them know. You're gonna go ahead and click this right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. CSUN is one of the universities that does not require you to pay a deposit um, for you to tell them that you wanna save a spot and you are gonna be starting CSUN in the fall. So this right here is just basic, basically giving you the deadline. If you accept, then go ahead and click accept, and if not, of course, decline. I will not go ahead and click here because after this, um, you basically have done your intent to register at Cal State uh, Northridge. Uh, congratulations if you get to that step, um, but it is easy as this, so you just go and accept, your, accept or decline your offer. So the last thing I wanna talk about is going to be this super important, um, your freshman advisement and registration. So typically freshmen have to, freshmen have to go through the matter advising hub in which you go and make an appointment with an advisor for you to be able to register for your classes. It is one of those incomplete tasks that you have to complete that was on your to-do list. Um, all of the information on how to register for Matter Advising Hub and uh, registering for your classes is gonna be sent directly through your email. So you will actually not be going into your portal to do this. It is on your email that you're gonna have access to um, making an appointment with an advisor. All majority of first time freshmen are gonna be going through the Matter Advising Hub. However, if you are a part of EOP or if you are doing the liberal studies uh, major with the teaching credential as well, you will go through their particular offices. The Matter Advising Hub, like I said, you will receive information on your email, uh, so you will not be needing this portal. However, I will at least show you um, how to find further information on Matter Advising Hub. So once you get to Matter Advising Hub, if you have already made an appointment with an advisor, they should have already sent you an email letting you know that given the circumstances, um, they're not going to be doing person-to-person -person advising anymore, but um, they should have sent you information on with the Zoom link as that's how they're going to be doing their appointments. If you have not made an appointment, again, they have sent that information to your email and how you can um, make an advisement appointment, but just know everything will be online moving forward. Um, CSUN, as majority of other universities, are still navigating the process of switching everything online. So here you can go ahead and find more information on the Matador Advising Hub. Um, however, you will see that right now they're still in process of updating all of the um, steps of how freshmen are gonna complete their enrollment. Um, so stay tuned, go to this, um, link right here which is going to be csun.edu slash the hub 
hopefully within the coming weeks, they will have more information for you to know how to complete the rest of your uh, enrollment steps. Some of them are typically done in person, including orientation and all of that. There is no information on how they're going to uh, complete that now. But again, use this website as your number one resource to go and find information and stay up to date to make sure you complete all of those steps. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best of luck.